Does the G-spot really exist? What are the myths and realities of erectile dysfunction? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The G-spot is a zone in the vagina believed to provide intense pleasure to some women. While its existence and location are debated, many women report increased arousal and orgasms by stimulating this area. Common myths about erectile dysfunction include that it only affects older men or that it is purely a psychological issue. The reality is that it can affect men of all ages and have both physical and psychological causes. Treatment is possible. History of vibration, the use of vibrating devices for sexual stimulation dates back to the 19th century. Initially created as medical devices to treat female hysteria, they became popular sexual toys. The importance of foreplay. Foreplay is essential for a satisfying sexual experience. Emotional and physical stimulation before sexual activity can increase arousal and intimacy. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. Influence of pornography. Pornography has had a significant impact on sexual expectations and sexual education for many individuals. It can be a source of inspiration, but may also create unrealistic expectations about sex and relationships. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Relationship between depression and decreased sexual desire. Depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Masturbation and self-awareness. Both men and women can learn more about their bodies and sexual responses through masturbation. Self-exploration can help discover which type of stimulation is most effective in achieving orgasm. Myths about masturbation. There are many myths about masturbation, such as it causing blindness or hair on the hands. These myths are unfounded and lack scientific basis. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This means they can reach climax several times in a short period without the need for a refractory period, which is common in men. Need for relaxation. Relaxation is key for a pleasurable experience. The anal sphincter must relax to allow comfortable and enjoyable penetration. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to women, men can experience orgasms without ejaculation, an experience known as dry orgasm. This can occur for various reasons, such as practicing semen retention. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little known phenomenon. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Personal care, personal care, including hygiene, style, and health, can also influence attraction. Sexual positions, variety in sexual positions can enrich sexual life. Experimenting with different positions can help couples discover what they enjoy most and increase fun in intimacy. Post-experience. 
After anal sex, some people may experience temporary sensitivity or discomfort. Resting and caring for the area can help alleviate any discomfort. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Prostate orgasm. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms in men, often achieved through anal stimulation, known as the prostate orgasm. U-spot. In addition to the G-spot and P-spot, some people believe in the existence of the U-spot in women, located on the front wall of the vagina and considered highly sensitive. Sleep and sex are interconnected. Having sex before bedtime can help release tensions and promote more restful sleep. Additionally, some people experience erotic dreams that can result in sexual arousal during the night. Relation to pleasure. For some people, anal sex can provide additional pleasure due to the stimulation of nerve endings in the anal area. Sex in water, whether in a pool, jacuzzi, or the sea, can be exciting. But it's important to remember that the body's natural lubricants can disappear in water, making sex uncomfortable. Additionally, water is not a good substitute for lubricant. Sex in dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and heart health. Regular sex can be beneficial for heart health. It has been shown that regular sexual activity reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. Simulated orgasm. While not exclusive to women, some may simulate an orgasm for various reasons such as satisfying their partner or ending sexual activity. Open communication and intimacy in a relationship can help prevent this. Painful coitus syndrome, also known as dyspareunia, is a condition where a person experiences pain during intercourse. It can be caused by various reasons, such as medical, emotional, or physical issues. Smile. A sincere and kind smile is attractive to many people as it is associated with kindness and empathy. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.